Hello, I'm Dr. Brian Fraser, and in this video I'll be showing you how to use Discord from the point of view of someone who wants to talk to people and start up some chats and video chats. Um, specifically, I'm an instructor, and so I use this for my office hours, and so this video will help my students look at the way that you need to use Discord in order to talk to me. So the first thing you need to do is get Discord. Uh, you can go to discord.com, and you can either download the installer for either Windows or Mac, or I think maybe, maybe even Linux, or you can use it straight inside of your browser. Um, the one for download and installed turns out to be maybe a little bit more reliable, able to access things and share screens better. So it's my preferred method, but you can use it from a browser if that's going to help you. So after you've downloaded and installed it, uh, you then run Discord, and it'll look like this. So Discord is a great application for talking to people. You can do it uh, for a lot of games, you can type, you can talk. Uh, so let's walk through a few things. The first thing you're going to need is you're going to need an invite to the server. Uh, so you find however you want to uh, find people, you find the server they're going to be on. If it's in my course, you'll find the invite to the server on the course homepage. So I can say here, add server, and at the bottom I can say join in server. So click join a server, and then I can put in the link that I want to use. So I'm going to use this. It's the link to invite to my server. It's a temporary link, so don't try using it. It'll be expired. And I'll say join server. And then that will end up adding me to the server. So here we have <clears throat> the intro message from my server. On the left-hand side, we can see all the different channels that are available. And on the right-hand side is the chat pane showing what's uh, kind of what we're looking at at the moment. So let's first off just uh, find a cap. So if you want to talk to me, you go to, for example, click on office hours. And you can see any history that's already here. There's nothing yet, so I can put in a message. And maybe I want to say, uh, please add me to the queue for office hours. Or whatever else you want to put in. And then that will be shared and everyone that's on the server can see that message. Um, there's a number of other channels you can find that'll have other different things, you know, conversations and so forth going back and forth. Uh, one thing that you might want to do is, at some point in time, you may want to reply to a message. Maybe somebody put out a question and you want to reply to it. So if you mouse over someone's message, like here's one from me, I can then go up to this button on the right and say reply. And then if I say something like, that is amazing, or something, we can see down here it's tagged as to what message I'm referring to. So if numerous people are having conversations, it's a good way to keep it straight. <clears throat> Another cool thing is you can add a reaction. You might say, oh, hey, this I, I really love that message. You can click on this reaction, the icon, and then you can pick whatever it is you want to put in there. And that will then show up as a reaction uh, to something somebody else has said. And again, there's a bunch of other channels here. Anything that starts with a hash on the left-hand side of it, it means that it's a chat channel. And so you might be in one of these classes, you might go down to these social memes, and you could copy and paste in here a picture of your favorite meme or something like that. So that's the text channels. <clears throat> now, once you've got that, the next thing you want to do is probably talk to people individually. So let me go back here to my office hours. And if there's somebody that you wanted to talk to individually, like say me, you can right click on the person and then you can say message. And that brings up a chat channel between just you and that person. Uh, now I'm already in here. Let me just, uh, there was already a call from earlier when I was testing this. So normally you wouldn't actually see that. Let me just uh, get out of that. No, that's fine. So in here, then you can say a message like, uh, hello, um, is it true that 2, 3 plus 2, 3 equals 5? And then someone else might later on come back and reply to you, like I'll do on my other side here. Uh, no, it's actually not. And you can see the message coming back. So you can have a nice conversation this way, really convenient and easy to do. Um, one of the tricky things with Discord is kind of finding your way around. So on the very left-hand side, we've got this sort of the list of the servers that you're on. At the very top is all the direct messages, which is the one that we're currently kind of looking at now. If I want to go back to the server, I'll click the icon for the server. You can see the server here. If I want to go back to the chat channel, it's here at the very top, direct messages. And this is where all of the individual conversations will show up. And I can click on one of those to go back into it. So that's kind of how you find your way to get back around. Now, the next thing that might happen is uh, you might be wanting to have a, a conversation with uh, somebody. Let me see here. Um, I might want to, for example, start a call with you. So I'll click Start Call. And then here, one new message, it says here I can join the call. To do that, you want to click on this Join Call button. You could join call with video if you like, or just straight up join call. So let's just join the call. Now, I've got a lot of echo. So let me turn my volume down so I don't get that echo. Um, 
when you joined a call, the first thing you want to check is, is your mic working? And Discord will tell you that because here's my icon for this login that I'm on. And when I'm talking, you'll see a green ring around it. But when I stop, the green ring goes away. So that tells me if it's working or not. And you can see on the other person that at the moment they've got their mic muted. Uh, and that's fine because we don't want to uh, currently give ourselves a big bad echo. Um, if your mic is off, then you can go through and fix it. I'll show you how to edit that now. So if you need to change your settings, on the very left hand side, you want to go down to the cog icon and click on the cog. And then on the left, we want to scroll down. We want to go down to video and voice. And this will be the one that you go to the most often. Uh, input device, so you want to select whatever input device you want to use, an output device for your speakers. There's a little let's check button, and so forth. I recommend going to an input mode of voice activation. Uh, if you're playing like a guild or a big group, uh, you probably want to go to push to talk. But for just using Discord to chat with people, voice activation is perfectly fine. Um, and when you're done that, click escape here. You don't want to click the X or it closes all of Discord. So click the escape, and you come back, and you'll have your, hopefully your settings all working just fine. Um, Next thing is you might want to share your screen, as often done if you want to get help from somebody or show them something amazing. So right under these two icons at the top, there's a term of the camera on or off, share your screen, and then mute your mic. So let's go to share screen. It gives you the opportunity to pick what you wanted to share. Now in this case, I wanted to share, I got one application here. I'm going to share this one. This is my editor. So I'll pick the what I wanted to share and then say go live. And now it is sharing the screen. So I can see here, this is the what it is that I am sharing. And if I go into the application, it kind of goes away because it doesn't want to kind of show us that as well. But then if I come back, it shows me what's going on. So anybody else on the call could see what's happening here. Um, if you click on this image here, it shows you the different sort of people that are participating in this call. At the moment, there's two people and one person is sharing. But if somebody else shared their screen, then we could see different things to pick on. You could kind of click on that, whatever you want to kind of zoom in on and highlight. You can also... Uh, bring it full screen and you can pop it out if you want to have it as a, a separate window that you want to drag around uh, to have it on its own. So those are kind of some cool things you can work with. Um, the next thing you want to do is stop sharing. So if I come back here and I can click on this icon again, it'll stop the share. So nobody can now see what I'm show what I'm doing in my apps. And finally, you want to end your call. There's two ways to do that. One, you can click on the big disconnect button here. But I often end up being somewhere else. So I come back and I find this on the left hand side under all these it's got this. And that's nice because no matter where you go, it sticks around. And so if I'm looking at something else on the servers down here, this voice connection tells me where I currently am. I can click disconnect and it turns off the call. And now the last thing is, what if you want to talk to multiple people at once? For that, you probably either have to all be friends in order to join that call that I showed before. You can only join a call with your friends. Um, and you could invite people as friends, but I generally just don't worry about that. What I would generally do is use a voice channel. So here, there's some channels on the left that have the icon for voice. If I click into that, I end up joining the voice channel. And then anything I say, because I got my mic currently off mute, let's see, if I want to mute my mic, I can go down here at the bottom and say mute. So now whatever I say isn't picked up by Discord. And I could then hear whomever else is talking here. So if you had a day, want to do a meeting with a TA for a couple people in your group or something, uh, this is an effective way to do it. And at the end, I can click disconnect, and it will disconnect me from that channel. I think that that's pretty much all the basics to getting to use Discord. Um, the most confusing thing is sometimes finding your way around. So remember, you might want to go to here to direct messages to find the people that you had direct conversations with. And on the left, you can pick a server and then jump between different rooms on the server, seeing what's going on. If you happen to post something you didn't mean to, so let me go back up here and say, whoops, I, I didn't want to do that. I can click the dot, dot, dot here and say delete message. Delete message and it goes away. Now, who knows what's actually being stored on the Discord server, but it's not really easy for anybody else uh, to see what's going on. And I can click that, get rid of my emoji. I'll just leave this as well, kind of clean up after myself. You can just leave that all in the channels normally, though. Uh, generally, just whatever's been said just sticks around, unless people really want to get rid of it. All right, well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great time using Discord.